Hey everybody, this is Mike with Birdman Gaming. And I told a company that I would do this video um, and have it up while I'm on the road. I don't know exactly what time I'm going to schedule this video for yet, but it'll be going up on the 31st. I will be officially on the road after 1 p.m. Central Standard. There will be a video of basic, basically there will be update videos through the entire trip as far as um, what's going on, where I'm at and everything, or not exactly where I'm at, but you know, that I'm on the road. Um, and that I'm doing fine or whatever. Um, but if you saw the video that was posted yesterday, you will have known that I got some really cool stuff in the mail. Um, as this video is actually being re uh, uh, recorded, it's been almost a week since that stuff came in. And I'm in the hectic part of getting everything packed together and ready to go. But I need to make a couple videos before I leave. That way, product can be shown, decks can be shown, and this company is absolutely awesome. No, they did not sponsor this video. They did not sponsor the last video. I bought the product that I got from them. So... With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I know they will see this video because I'll make I'll link it to them as soon as it goes live. Um, and with all that being said, we're going to start off. This is a deck show. Me just showing one of uh, the decks that's going with me to Gen Con in Indianapolis. Um, I will be there all four days. Um, I don't have an exact event schedule with the exception of Friday, 5 p.m. local time. I will be in a commander uh, pre-con battle for Commander Masters. And we will be rocking this deck box here. For that, I've got some sleeves on the way that will be here hopefully by then. Um, I had them made by uh, Dragon Shield. They're supposed to be here by about Wednesday next week. So hopefully they'll be here on time. Um, so the Wednesday before, I, before this video goes live. Um, and this is for the Commander. I really like how they did these with that faux leather on the inside feels real nice um, but yeah this is going to be the uh, commander deck box specifically for that event however I not only bought that one I bought two more they have a deal that if you buy three or more from them, you get free shipping. It is from New Zealand, so international shipping is kind of expensive. Um, but they retail at $22 a piece. And here is another one of them. As you can see, we got our channel name right there. And you're probably wondering what this deck is. Well... It is Omnath Locus of Creation. And as you can see, you can just slide your commander out. This is sleeved and also in a perfect fit hard, which is thicker than normal perfect fits. So it does fit very, very nicely in the armor there. Very nice and snug. So we've got our Omnath. 
and we are now going to go over our mana base. We've got our basics starting off with a planes. All of my basics are infinity foils. There is a galaxy foil of each one. I don't have enough galaxy foils to make each of the seven basics in the deck galaxy foils. But there are foil galaxy, uh, four foil galaxy foils, and they're all spatial foils. So here's our island. That one is. Uh, is that one the galaxy? Yeah, that one's the galaxy foil. Um, you can tell it like right there. The planes, the single planes in the deck looks amazing in galaxy foil. Our regular foil island, our galaxy foil mountain, which you can catch it right there. Regular foil mountain. Galaxy foil forest. Regular foil forest. No wait, this is also a galaxy. Okay, so two galaxy foil forests. So I'm only missing three galax... Oh, two galaxy foils. From having all of those galaxy foiled. Okay. Then we have a Dryad Arbor. Strip Mine. Wasteland. A Bo Sees You. This deck is 90% foiled. There are 10 cards that are non-foil. None of them are the lands. All of my lands are foiled. Core Haven. This is the... Uh, promo that you could get from winning your pre-release for I think it was all will be one um me and the guy in the finals we sat down he w really wanted the store was doing a box for winning and he really wanted the box I didn't really care much for the box I wanted the promo he's like okay winner gets the box loser gets the promo I lost. I still got the promo. I was happy with that. A Yavamaya. Valakut. What's better than one Valakut? How about two Valakuts? What's better than two Valakuts? How about three? And you'll see why here in a little while. We've got our Mana Confluence. And that is the buy box promo. We've got our borderless foil cavern of souls. Our plaza of heroes. Those are our five color lands along with reflecting pool. Um, because we are playing a four color deck, we need access to our multicolor mana regularly, which is why we have these. And Cavern makes Omnath uncounterable. We have a Fabled Passage to get one of these basics. If we need it. Misty. As our first of six fetch lands. Wooded Foothills. Arid Mesa. Windswept Teeth. Flooded Strand. Scalding Tarn. Again, all foil. You can see that I have some expeditions. I have some uh, extended art. I've got uh, cons of Tarkir foil. And this one is the promo from Nationals. That I picked up a few months ago in a trade. And there are kids outside screaming. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's just kids outside playing. Um, then we have our two triomes, or tri-lands. These are fetchable. 
uh, Sparta's headquarters in Jetmir's Garden. And then we have our six shock lands, which are all Infinity shocks, but they are not uh, galaxy foils. These are just the regular foils. So we start off with our Sacred Foundry, Stomping Ground, Hallowed Fountain, Temple Garden, Steam Vents, and Breeding Pool. And that rounds up our mana base. Now, let's jump into some dudes. Okay. We've got our Avenger of Zendikar, which really, really good in a landfall deck, especially when you can play multiple lands. Really, really good. Um, when he enters, you get a 0 on 1 plant token for every uh, land you control. Every time you play a land, all your plant tokens get plus 1, plus 1 counters. Really good. We got our Birds of Paradise. Again, we need our uh, multicolor mana to be able to play things faster. Dryad of Elysian Groves, which makes all our lands, all basic land types, and lets us play an additional land every turn. Which, of course, feeds the Valakut. We've got Nashaya, which makes all our creatures non-token creatures into lands as well and that also includes her which triggers him triggers this guy and triggers several other things in the deck plus with this they're also mountains because this turns them into forest they're also mountains which triggers Velikut Silverback Elder, just because he's really, really good. Scoot Swarm, again, <laughs> we're in a landfall deck. Um, Crater Hoof Behemoth, because why not? Progenitor Mimic, because I'd like to be able to copy a Crater Hoof multiple times, or an Avenger, or a Dryad, or Silverback Elder. Eternal Witness to get things back from the graveyard. Um, we have a Sylvan Carroted. Again, multicolor deck. We need that access to mana. Plus it's a wall that's got hexproof. Terror of the Peaks, one of my non-foils. Um, because I'm playing a lot of creatures and making a lot of tokens... This actually deals a whole lot of damage without me having to attack. Uh, Progenitor Mimic on that just wins the game, usually. Knight of the Reliquary. I'm putting lands in the graveyard with the fetches. This guy gets big. This guy can also sacrifice a forest or a plains to search for any land and put it into play. <laughs> Getting me that Vesuva, Thespian Sage, Valica. Uh, fetch lands, um, let's see, Cavern of Souls, any land that I need. Ramunek Excavator lets me play lands from the graveyard. Bloom Tender, again, multicolor deck. He taps for one mana of every permanent that I control. So if I have him in Omnath, I can tap for four, he taps for four, all four colors. One of each. So he taps for four mana. Ancient Green Warden. All my landfall uh, triggers are doubled. And I get to play lands from my graveyard. Cultivator Colossus. The second of the non-foils. Um, his power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands I control. When he enters... I may put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Tapped. If I do, I draw a card. And then repeat the process. You can see where it gets to be a problem. Lotus Cobra. Landfall. Mana. Nissa. Landfall. Mana. Elish Norn. Get that double... Ability is again. 
And this is of everything that triggers when it enters. Like Solemn Simulacrum. Really good card. And then, of course, we have our last creature, which is a Kefnet. Kefnet's interesting because Kefnet allows me to put a land back into my hand to draw a card. Which then I can replay to give me more uh, triggers. So, that is our creature base. You'd think normally you'd be playing more creatures. This deck doesn't need them. Because I'm making so many tokens. Now comes our artifact suite. And we start the, the day off with a Helm of the Host. Because why not? Um, we want to make more tokens. We want to make more big creatures. So... You equip Omnath with it. Uh, in a combat, you get to draw a card. Then, if you because you make a token that's not legendary, you draw a card. Then, every Omnath triggers landfalls separately. Sword of Forge and Frontier, another non foil. I'm looking for a foil. Um, just really, really good card, especially in this deck. Um, it lets me play cards that, whenever he deals combat damage, uh, exile the top two cards of my library. I may play those cards from ex exile on this turn and play an additional land this turn. Great card. Staff of Titania. Equipped creature gets... Plus X, plus X, where X is the number of forests I control. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, create a 1-1 one, one green forest dryad. Land token. Sword of Once and Future. This actually uh, lets me surveil by two. Great card. Lithoform engine, so I cast something, I can copy it, or I can copy an ability. Great card. Um, top, because why not? Top. Mirror box. With this, I can put a uh, um, progenitor mimic on Omnath. And just every upkeep get a new Omnath. Crucible lets me play lands from my graveyard. Panharmonicon, again, doubling effects. Rings, again, doubling effects. Then we go into our mana rocks. We've got our soul ring. Arcane signet. Chromatic lantern. Skyclave relic. Chromatic Orrery, and Commander Sphere. All foil. I love this art on Commander Sphere because I was a big D&D cartoon fan when I was a kid back in the 80s. And I actually own the uh, cartoons on DVD. They're currently loaned out to a friend of mine. Now comes Enchantment. So, enchantments. We're starting off with Tribute to the World Tree. Uh, our Scoot Swarm tokens come in, get three plus one plus one counters. With Mother of Machines, they also draw us a card. Exploration for that additional land drop every turn. Burgeoning, whenever somebody else plays a land, I can put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. Concordant Crossroad, everything has haste. Prismatic uh, Omen, everything, all basic lands I control are every basic land, I mean, all lands I control are all basic land types in addition to their other types. Utopia Sprawl, 
Just let the land tap for an additional mana. Land tax. Which lets me, at the beginning of my upkeep, if an opponent has more lands than I do, I search my library for three lands. Up to three basics. Reveal them, put them in my hand. Impact Tremors. Again, I've got token producing. That will kill somebody. Instant Time. We have um, Growth Spiral. Gets me a card draw and an additional land drop for the turn. Cyclonic Rift, which is non-foil. I'm looking for a foil. Worldly Tutor, because being able to search up the creatures I need. Remand, because counter spells are important. Sublime Epiphany, again countering, cloning, uh, bouncing, and card draw. All very good. Swords. And Path are both our removal suite. And then this, I'm looking for one more upgrade into a better condition because this is creased down the middle. OG Packfoil Crop Rotation. But you can tell there's that crease right down the middle. And it hurts me even to look at it. But again, this deck is sleeved and perfect fit hards. So, you can't feel even like this. You can't feel it. So, it is not a marked deck. Now our sorceries. We've got our three visits. Searches for our forest. Nature's lore. Searches for a forest. Cultivate. Searches for a basic. Put it in play. And another uh, basic into our hand. Life from the Loam lets us play, uh, return three lands from our yard to our hand. And it has Dredge. Awaken in the Woods lets uh, us create a bunch of land tokens. Write a Replication for cloning. Seagate's Restoration so that we can draw a bunch of cards. Nature's Lore. We can sack one of these tokens to go get something else that's really big and green. And that is our Sorceries. And this is non-foil, this is non-foil. And same with that. Those are our non-foils. Now we only have one more non-foil. Or rather two. We've got a Ren and Seven foil, Ren and Realm Breaker non foil, Ren and Six non foil, and that is the rest of Omnath. Like I said, ten cards non foil. The rest of the deck is one hundred percent foiled out. It's a beautiful thing, very hard to put together. And, again, we have our Showcase Foil Omnath. I want the Borderless Foil, I mean the uh, Full Art Foil from uh, Store Championships a few months ago. But, of course, those things are hard to come by. So, I might see one at Gen Con. I might not. Um, if you're at Gen Con, come up and say hey. Let me know that you subscribe to the channel. The sleeves that are coming in will have the channel low, uh, the uh, channel name link on the back of them. So I will be playing with those in this event. And with all that being said, again, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be somewhere Georgia, Tennessee, somewhere in that area.